Hello! Welcome to my channel on the first sunny day of 2018 in the UK. I can't believe it, we've waited this long. Um, right, so this is my makes for March and my plans for April. Um, I'll start off with what I'm wearing. This is the um, Piedra, I think it's called Piedra, dressed by Seamwork. Um, I have taken it in a bit, um, but I will show you. <laughs> so I took it in a bit here because it was a little bit shapeless, it was sort of like that. So I sort of took it in a bit, um, but left the skirt still going. Um, it's quite baggy up here, but I'm happy with it. It's in a lovely French terry from Girl Charlie. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm pleased. I'm pleased that's my first mate. I'm sorry about the light. It uh, sort of needs must really, because I don't get a lot of chance to do these videos, but I'll, hopefully it won't be shining in my face in the whole video. Um, the second make is uh, Mama Nina by Made for Mermaids. And I did the top version here. And uh, I will try it on for you. Just a minute. So, this is it. Um, it's uh, a nice loose fitting top. The um, fabric is from uh, So So English Fabrics in America. Um, I can't remember if I put this in my plans um, for March, I may not have. Um, if you've heard of So So English and you fancy uh, ordering some of their fabric, there is a Facebook group um, a, and it's called So So English Fabrics UK edition, I think. And they, um, there you can find out how to order um, with reduced delivery costs and import duties. Um, and it's very straightforward now. It used to be quite complicated, but now it's very straightforward. You do have to wait quite a while to get the fabric, but the quality is really nice. Um, I'm not sure how the prices compare, to be honest. Oh, oh, some are about the same, maybe a few if you get bundle discounts they can be cheaper um, so really it depends if you love something then it's worth it um, at the it's the bundle discounts tend to kick in at the end of the month um, because they do lots of bundles so they coordinate fabrics and you're getting them cheaper anyway but I think by the end of the month we want they want to clear them um, so I've ordered some of those at the end of March, early April. And uh, yeah, they were quite good bargains. Anyway, um, my next three makes are the toaster sweater that you come in. Right, so see here, this is version two, and this is the nice loose fitting, quite boxy version. Now I always thought that I would probably suit this better with my shape my mum tum and my big boobs and so I I had some gorgeous fabric which I think I showed you in my last vlog which is this uh, flamingo it's upside down but it's glittery flamingo and so I thought I'd make it in that and I'll make this version in a material that I, I like but I'm not in love with um, how wrong was I? I love this version. I absolutely love it. It's actually easier, I think. It's easier to make than this version because this is all on the overlocker. Everything. Unless you want to cover stitch stuff. So this version, you, you've got these bits that can be a bit fiddly. Um, still a lovely version. I love it. But anyway, let me show you. 
So this is the flamingo one. There. And it's, you know, it's, it's gorgeous fabric. And this was the, the other one that I was trying version one with here. Yeah. And you've got the funnel neck um, and the band. And I kind of thought that the band would hit me um, where I don't want it to hit me, but it just, it doesn't, it, it's, it's quite flattering. So this is, I've worn this quite a few times, it's lovely and snuggly. Um, but I had some of this material in my stash and I've got a feeling it was from the textile center. And so I thought I would, so it's like a quilted, if you can see, sort of quilted material, these gorgeous roses. And I thought I would try that. So I'm well set up for next winter now with my three toaster sweaters. Then I plan to make a sweet tea, long sleeve sweet tea with a banded hem and really pleased with this as well. I've worn it to work loads of times. So it's a good, I think it's a good go-to pattern for an easy top. Um, and then I plan to do three Blackwood cardigans by Helen's Closet. And I had two, two wins and one fail. Um, the fail was this. I mean, let me put it on. Should be easy enough, easier for you to see then. So the arms and the body are fine, but this band where I had to stretch it a bit around the neck, it just went all funny. And so I've tried to bend it over at the neck and that hasn't worked. So it's that, that part of the band that doesn't look good. Um, I'm happy with the rest of it, but it's just this bit around here. So, yeah, it's a bit of a fail and I'm not sure what to do with it. Let me try the, the silver one in a few. And out of the two, I was more keen for the gold one to work, but it didn't. The silver one was much better. Um, I don't know when I'm going to get to wear them, but it's a lovely pattern great pattern um, I'll definitely be using it again this version the gold one were cropped and let me show you the the long sweater knit one so I'm pleased this is that version and I love this version this is a longer length version And I just love it and it's so snuggly and I didn't bother putting the pockets I just thought I wouldn't use them anyway um, so yeah pleased with that I had some leftover fabric um, and I can't remember if I mentioned it in my uh, my plans but I made a fall in love sweater by Ali and Mac. It's a fairly standard banded top, but it's very nice. It's sort of more on the baggy side than the fitted side. Um, I ran out of material, so I had to use some t-shirt uh, material to band it around the neck. 
Then I have some leftover of the silver and the gold material. So I made a essential tank by Patterns for Pirates. And again, you know, where you're stretching, can you see around here? It's sort of like all bagged up. and So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that, to be honest. I don't know. But the pattern itself is it's nice. Good pattern to have in your, uh, in your patterns. And this... I think this was a Stitch Upon a Time Versa Cami, um, and uh, this is like, I really like this, um, great for small bits of material left, and you use fold over elastic for the, uh, for the edges and the straps, and it's great, so you can, you know, coordinate or you can have a different colour. So they are my makes. My plans for April, it's a funny month, I'm working longer hours um, because it's year end and we had the Easter holiday so I'm not really sure how that's going to, so some I may make, some I may not, there might be other ones but anyway I'll give you a general general idea. I have, I'm sort of in the process of making this uh, sweetie pie dress, um, but the cover stitch machine didn't like it and I'm in the process of unpicking the whole of that hem, oh, it's, I start a bit and then I get so disheartened, it's, oh. It was going so well and I thought it was just a really quick little make for my daughter because she said, oh mommy, can you make me a dress out of that gorgeous material? But, um, so I'm making some trousers. I've only made jogging bottoms and leggings before. Um, so I'm going to make the SOS Knit Pants by Patterns for Pirates and I'm just making it in a very bog standard black ponty so I haven't got um, haven't got that thing then um, this has been sort of on my uh, list to do for a while it's the Aberdeen by Seamwork um, it's a batwing tunic and I'm making it out of this this stripe I think it was from Girl Charlie, I'm not 100% but um, I'm making a Ogden cami and that's, this is one of the parts that I've cut out. It's like a chambray material, it's a greyish, um, on the other side it's quite light, it's almost like two layers. But I'm not sure where I got that and I've got a feeling someone gave me gave me some material um, from something they cut up. I'm not, I just, I'm not sure where it was, where it came from. Uh, right, so I'm making my first Moneta and I'm making version three with the three quarter length sleeves and I'm doing it in the same material that I made the uh, sweet tea from. So that'll be my first Moneta, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm making, well I've actually, I have made both of them. Um, these are Mama Nina dresses, and you can see the back is lower, but it's like a swing star, it's really nice and flattering. Um, this is the top but these are I'm making dresses I won't show you I'll just show you the material but this is material from so so English lovely black and grey and white flowers and also this material I got from uh, 
a lady on Facebook that's got a shop in Wales called Knitting Bee and Craft. That's right. Um, it's dandelion with a blue stripe. I'll put the links below if you're interested. Um, she does uh, orders, pre-orders, so you can add on to her order. This is the brunch blouse by Patterns for Pirates and I just, I had, I bought quite a lot of material from Sea Salt and it was like burning a hole in my pocket sort of thing and so I thought that would be a good bat pattern to use some Sea Salt material and this is the material that I'm going to use. So it's a, like a cotton foil. Um, and that's it I think yes so thank you for watching um, and uh, please subscribe if you haven't already and uh, I love receiving comments and um, please like me <laughs> okay take care bye